Hello and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. On this video I'll go over some news updates, hotfix 2.9.0.1 that already rolled on 23rd of this week and about some fixes on control remapping, activities, weapons, armors. We have new iron banner coming up uh, with the reprise of the iron fellowship armor set and two reprise weapons. A new exotic quest for Reunius Fiji. Before we dive deep into the video, uh, like and support to my video would be really appreciated as that will help everyone to find my channel. And if you'd like to see more upcoming and new Destiny 2 content, please subscribe as that will notify you when I upload a new video. So far I'm enjoying Season of Arrival with all the new activities and the new dungeon. On 7th of July, which is the Bungie Day, looks like we'll have uh, our hands on a new exotic quest for Reunius Effigy. These are some recently leaked images of Reunius Effigy. It is an uh, energy trace rifle. It reads, From the many wings of ruins blows a wind that will reshape the dead world. We have some parts to go on with it. Let's have a look at those parts. Transmutation. Final blows with the weapon collapse victims into void. Transmutation space. Hammer forge rifling, evaluation, particle repeater and composite stock. As for stats, we have impact 8, range 41, stability is 66, handling 53, reload speed 39, Rounds per minute 1000, magazine 94, zoom 12, infantry size 46, aim assistant 84 and recoil direction 96. Then there will be some uh, Beehard pins that you can order from Bungie store. Uh, if you pre-order these pins you will receive this emblem emailed to you within the next 24 hours of your order. If you're a Twitch Prime member, you can get this awesome rewards just by linking your Bungie account to it. Moving on to this week's hotfix that already rolled out on 23rd of this week. Uh, there we have the controller remapping. Uh, fixed an issue where analog base action required a full button or trigger press. Players should no longer encounter issues where they could aim down sight and fire their weapon. Fix an issue where storm rage uh, could not be used if attacking boots are held during the cast animation. Fix an issue where hunters dodge and warlock eye chorus dash were more difficult to activate. Pressing A no longer dismounted from sparrows while using the jumper controller sim. Then there will be a little bit of fix on activities where they have fixed some players had an invisible ship, black emblem or zero power level displayed when in orbit. Then there are some general fixes where they say fix an issue where various reward sources were dropping gear at 750 power instead of their in intended power level. Fix an issue where the Tommy's matchbook catalyst quest has removed from player inventories. Players who had this quest removed have lost progress but have reduced the requirement of the quest to, com uh, to complete the quest. Fix an issue where the Destiny 2 Beyond Light pre-order emblem did not appear in the collections. Where the upgrade gift rank triumph did not properly record progress. Remove two legendary ships from Amanda Holiday that could not be processed where seasonal artifact modes require more glimmer than intended to socket, where solo co uh, completion of the prophecy dungeon did not properly unlock the associate triumphs, 
Then we have some hotfixes on weapons where it says fix an issue where a weapon hard dealt a ridiculous amount of damage to various enemies. Fix an issue that could occur when swapping out exotic gear while their perks are still active. And then there are some armor changes. Fix an issue where Saints Vacation exotic ship was invisible in preview orbit. Fix an issue where the almost mighty exotic girl shell was invisible in preview and when summoned. And they have fixed some more bugs uh, with the inside Titan gauntlet and the crypto beacon. Now moving on to Iron Banner. There is time for harmony among players and a time for honourable battle as well. The venerable Lord Saladin will see it to himself. Next week, he will return to the tower for the first Iron Banner of the season of arrival. So the Iron Banner starts today and it begins at 10 a.m. PDT time and it will finish at 10 a.m. PDT time on the July the 7th, which is the Bungie Day. The armor set for this season will be a reprise of the Iron Fellowship set. Here you can see on the screen with the new Iron Banner emblem. Then we have two new weapons. Uh, they are the Forward Puff and the False Remedy. Both these weapons will have two new parks added onto them. Uh, they are the Iron Gaze and the Iron Grip. Iron Gaze is massively improves weapon target acquisition at the cost of the weapon range and the Iron Grip is massively improves weapon stability at the cost of its reload speed. And with these two new weapons uh, we have uh, six reissued weapons. These weapons will have Season of Arrival Max Infusion Caps as well. So guys that is all for today. I hope the video was informative. And helpful and thank you for watching the video